Hello everybody, welcome to one more video of this epic channel. This is uh, a new build for Titan Quest Anniversary Edition including Atlantis DLC, Ragnarok DLC and Eternal Embers DLC. And here we have a new build which is actually a fashion build. I made this build because I wanted to put together a build which would be using these items, the Amernian uh, rare items anyway. These Amernian items come from uh, the Egypt area of Eternal Embers DLC act and uh, they have as we can see four uh, different uh, items which is one is boots, one is braces, one is chest armor and one is helmet. So I wanted to put together a build which would be using this full you could say set although it is not a set set of uh, green items and here we have it it is called Amernion because uh, this item is called the base item is called Amernion whatever now I decided to make it a dual wielding melee weapon build so I went with a battle mage class and uh, for attribute points I haven't spent uh, many points I have spent some points on health but no points on energy, no points on intelligence, I have spent many points on strength and even more points on dexterity. And because we need dexterity, you know, to increase also defensive and offensive abilities. With uh, the skills we have Warfare Mastery, Earth Mastery, we have maxed out the weapon training, the dual wield and uh, the whole tree, skill tree of the dual wield. We have spent only one point for now on battle rage and uh, we have uh, maxed out the dodge attack so this is not maxed out the battle standard but I will max it out later and the triumph is not maxed out I will max it out later but the onslaught is maxed out ignore pain I will max it out later and ardor we will max out this one out later we have maxed out ma uh, war with at the addon lesser rate because this one uh, is something like an AOE attack for Warfare Mastery. And uh, for now this is it for uh, the Warfare Mastery. Let's go to Earth Mastery. In Earth Mastery we have maxed out the Earth Enchantment, the Brimstone. This one is nice, it provides physical damage buffs at flat bear damage to weapon attacks. And uh, the Stone Skin which is not maxed out but I will probably max it out later. We have maxed out the Volatility, very powerful skill. When it triggers we deal lots of damage. I have spent a couple of points, one point on hit shield, I think only one point as far as I remember. And uh, now we have the Volcanic Orb maxed out at on plus 4, the Conflagration maxed out at on plus 4 and the Fragmentation maxed out at on plus 4. So as we can see we don't have many skills from Earth Mastery. Later I could uh, activate the Eruption or even better the meteor rain we will see now for the items we have the artifact strength of pangu which comes uh, with eternal embers dlc we have the chest armor veteran samernian robe of Ipites. the veteran's prefix is amazing we have the hello Amernian hood of power Hello is also amazing as a prefix. The impenetrable Amernian braces of aten the aten suffix is very good because it provides also flat bear damage and it makes our uh, weapon attacks even uh, more powerful. And of course the Hail Amernian Saddles of Might. Lots of strength buffs. This is why we have so much strength points here. Which is good to have because strength increases physical damage and the weapons also deal physical damage. Here we have the Persephone string. I got it this one for the resistances that it provides. A little bit of total damage, defensive ability and energy cost reduction is uh, very important here. Here we have the resisted Kikus of the Tinkerer. I put two components that provide, they provide more resistances for survivability of course. And here we have the resisted Medallion of the Tinkerer. One more uh, amulet of the Tinkerer where I put two components for survivability. I didn't have any legendary or epic amulets that provide more resistances than this one so I equipped this one. Last but not least we have Lava Tile. This sword, which is very powerful, it comes uh, with Ragnarok TLC. It also applies a very big amount of bear damage over time. And this bear damage over time, of course, is applied at the same time as this one. And all, of course, these bear damage over time effects, they get buffed by deltas, which will have it. Uh, it is not really high. 
but also by the skills that provide the buffs to bear damage and uh, yeah Perceders to bear damage for example But these items provide the skill Ignite Foe which I'm not using because it is actually useless You cannot really do anything with that And uh, this is the build, the Amernian build I started this one as a legendary hero I have... Uh, let me show you When I activate all of my skills how the build looks like These are the, the numbers of damage, DPS Resistances Secondary resistances At zero death so far So in legendary as a legendary hero I started playing this character in act 1 And uh, so far up to Athens I have zero deaths I fought Hydra special boss I defeated that boss without getting killed At least uh, I was fast enough to click the escape button in my first attempt because in my first attempt I, got, I did a mistake and the, the Hydra boss almost killed me but in the second one it was easy because I didn't make that mistake. Let's go now, kill something for some gameplay. Sternos Wisdom Nice item but useless to me Drinky water I don't know about you guys but now while I'm recording this video we have a heat wave and uh, things are very bad The Catacombs of Athens, level 1 Maybe this catacomb should go farm a little bit to level up They shouldn't stay at level 1 An epic drop already, Warriors Bracers.
Ok, é isso é pelo cara. Nothing good drops. I'm dead. Several car. Okay, gold is good to pick up at the potions, but those drops are quite useless, I would say, because we always uh, look out for, uh, you know, good items to drop. Not potions. Test, come on. Let's go down, we will reach the boss of this area and we will see what we can do against that boss. Let's go do the boss fight now. Mm. 
There are red sable cars here, open up. But some of these are trapped and I almost got killed. I had to be careful. Now, boss fight. What boss fight? A mysterious the order of Remedius. Thaderic of Nightmares. My reward is just a yellow charm. Yeah, very bad reward. So, guys, this is the gameplay. It is very simple. You activate this skill. You activate this one whenever it wears off. And then, during combat, you use this one to run uh, faster and also to hit multiple enemies. And you use this one to stun enemies and hit multiple enemies. And you attack with your um, dual wielding skill tree. Automatically. So, thanks for watching this video, if you like what you see hit the like button, subscribe for more Titan Quest content, I'll be back very soon with more content, have a great day, and stay out of the sun.